Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is your Legislation and Military Policy Director, Matthew Schwartzman, coming to you uh, from the Minuteman Memorial Building uh, to talk to you about uh, the work of the Resolutions and Legislation Committee um, and our delegates uh, at the 2023 National Convention in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the beautiful Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, the ROA team uh, here at National got back just a couple of days ago. Uh, we're in the process of putting together all of our post uh, convention materials. Uh, and this video uh, is going to be a part of our 2023 resolutions booklet, um, which will include all of the past uh, and new resolutions um, that came from uh, the field, came from the departments, and came uh, from the Resolutions and Legislation uh, Committee. Um, and so just in short, um, the Resolutions and Legislation Committee advanced five new resolutions and 16 uh, resolutions from 2024 renewal. Uh, and the delegates uh, at the final day of the convention unanimously voted to approve all of those resolutions for 2023. Uh, and just talking to you briefly about some of those newly submitted and approved uh, resolutions. We had a resolution uh, that focused on ways in which uh, the end strength and the force capability of the United States Coast Guard Reserve could be improved. Uh, ROA has long been advocating for an increase in the authorized end strength back to levels that we saw around 9-11. Um, and so we took the essence of that resolution and combined it uh, with the newly submitted resolution to focus on not just that end strength piece, but also on a personnel management model that can maximize force output and capability of the Coast Guard Reserve. We also saw a couple of resolutions that were focused on the process of written informed consent. Right now, for both the Department of Veterans Affairs and the Department of Defense, um, beneficiaries are not required to provide written informed consent when they are pres prescribed black, block, black box warning label drugs. From ROA's perspective, this puts both the patient and provider at risk, and we want to ensure that there is written documentation for the administration of these black box prescription drugs. And so we had two resolutions passed on that very important and delegate subject. We had a resolution that came from the Department of Missouri that focused on improving uh, the recruitment and reenlistment bonus structure for certain military occupational specialties that are unfortunately experiencing uh, some military manning shortages. Um, this comes off of ROA Nationals' uh, call to action to see the creation of a task force that is focused on the projections uh, in the nursing workforce. Um, those projections come to about a depletion of 250 to 300,000 uh, personnel uh, over the next couple of years. Um, ROA is concerned about that workforce projection um, and we want to ensure that the military is able um, to fill those positions to ensure readiness. And so we had a resolution that provides National with the mandate to improve the recruitment and reenlistment bonus structure. The last resolution that we had a very good conversation on uh, at, uh, at National was regarding um, the direction and the movement of NOAA um, out of the Department of Commerce. Um, this resolution was referred to our Naval Services section and we're looking to reconsider um, appropriate action come our March convention. Uh, and so that's just a little bit about those new resolutions that were submitted. Um, in this edition of the 2023 Resolutions Handbook, you will see the complete list of, again, those five new resolutions that were considered and those 16 resolutions um, for renewal. Um, and so I just wanna take this opportunity to give you that up to the Minuteman update on our resolutions uh, and legislation committee proceedings, and also encourage each and every one of you to continue to submit to National your resolutions. ROA's resolutions process is very important, and it provides all members of the Reserve and National Guard and their families 
with the opportunity to create their own definition of readiness and shape their military and their service their way. And so I encourage each and every one of you, submit a resolution, or if you have any questions on our coveted resolutions process, please feel free to email me at mschwartzman at roa.org. And so thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in to this update on our resolutions process, and I'm looking forward to coming to you with another video update soon.